Hello, my dolls and gents, and it is haul time. So let me show y'all the first item. I went to Ross. The first item I got, because I have to take it back, because my friend Tanika said that I really don't need this. I'm going to just call her T. She said I don't need it. I texted her while I was in the store, should I get this? And she, by the time she texted me, I was in the car. So I am going to take it back. She's absolutely right. Don't need it. Okay, I don't. But this is like that real diva, bougie girl crap right here. Juicy Couture Antibacterial Wipes. $5.99. The problem is I've got wipes up the Wuzang that I haven't even opened yet. I bought it because it's juicy. Um, I was trying to smell them in the store because I'm it's sealed. So I'm not even going to open it because I'm going to take it back. So I cannot tell y'all how this smells. I am going to take it back. By the time you see this video, I will have returned these. Um, if they won't take them back, then I will put down below what they smelled like. I'll take them to work, use them up there or whatever. But um, yeah, they had a bunch of these Love Juicy Juicy Couture wipes. And I only got it because it said juicy. Okay. The next thing I got, and you guys will already have seen my decor station prior to this video. Because I'm going to go ahead and upload it so I can get some people's insight on my decor station. I'm trying to set up my, my swing, my venture, my meditation, my good aura station. And I've been to three Rosses and I cannot find exactly what I'm looking for. I was looking for this, but I was looking for the one that has the open head because I wanted to set my crystals inside of it. And I cannot find it with the open head. I did see one on Amazon with the open head. Um... It was white. I didn't really want white. I'm still debating. Um, this may get returned while I keep looking. I think what I'm looking for is a little flower pot. It's a little flower pot or a vase. So I'm going to go to walmart.com and stuff because it's a flower pot or a vase. And it's this, but there's no top part. The head is open. So we're going to see. We're going to see. This was $5.99. Not that bad. It's not exactly what I was looking for. So... Um, I'll put down below whether I returned that or not because I'm not sure. Um, I also got this for $3.99. And I don't know. This is the bottom. Price tag is on the bottom. Okay, I was going to say I don't know what part is the top or is the bottom because it looks exactly the same. But this is the bottom. Um, I This looks deeper. This may be the bottom. This may be the bottom because... I'm thinking about setting crystals in here. Okay, thinking about setting crystals in here. So I'm debating. This may go back too if it doesn't fit what I'm trying to do. I have a vision in my mind, but I cannot find what I'm looking for. Okay, actually, yeah, yeah. And I've been looking for like these just little sleeper dresses. I don't want to say sleeper dresses because I think this is meant to be like a real dress, but I'm going to sleep in it. I didn't want to pay $8.99. I kind of wanted to pay like $5.99, $6.99, but Ross, maybe because everything was closed and they need some money, they have went up on their clothes and their prices. These little things like this, these little flimsy things like this, I used to get for like $5.99, $7.99, and they have went up, and I could only find one. And I've been looking on Amazon, and I bought two from Walmart, but the ones from Walmart shrink very badly. And the ones I get from Ross and stuff don't really shrink, but the ones I get from Walmart seem to shrink quickly and badly. And of course, my husband doesn't mind because I'm sleeping in this, but I mind because sometimes I will take a shower before I'm getting ready to go to bed, and my girls are home, and I want something to walk around the house in, but I don't want it to be so short. That it exposed all my beards naive, okay? So when it shrinks, it's kind of no good to me unless I'm going straight to bed. I can't really maneuver around the house how I would like to maneuver. This one, y'all can't tell, but it falls just right above my knees. So everything is covered. Um, and I can jump out of the shower, put it on, and be relaxed in my own house. So um, when I take, I'm going to take the wipes back to a different Ross. In hopes that um, I can find what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is. 
I'm going to go ahead and do the video of the decor station I'm doing at the end of this video. So you guys can see. I was going to do it separate, but I'm going to do it together. So stay tuned. I'm going to take this in there and finish the video. Okay, guys. So hopefully you can see. And this video is really for my girl Tanika T. Because you got the eye. You got the eye. Okay. I'm trying to set up my little station here. And um, I'm getting there. So I have my Himalayan lamp. I'm going to bring y'all closer for a second. I have my Himalayan lamp. And I have my money frog. And I made a mistake and ordered two of these. So there's another one coming. But the other one is um, jade green. So I, I'm going to keep both. And I may just put the other one on my work desk. I'm not sure. Here is my little pretty bamboo elephant that I'm trying to keep alive. So on top of here, I have this little guy. This clear quartz that was gifted to me. I have my citrine. I have this angel. Um, I have a candle that I'm burning because I was meditating this morning. And this is an incense. If you can tell, I burnt some incense this morning. Kind of meditated. Um, this stone right here is also for abundance, good luck, money. So if you if you can't tell yet... This setup is strictly for abundance, good good vibes, and money. Um, I have this statue from the Dollar Tree, and he's holding a stone. And then this is what I want to get rid of. In here, I have some other stones, and I want to put some other stones in here. So, I was thinking, let me put this back on the stand. Hopefully, y'all can see it. I was thinking of putting this back here. Now, this cardboard is not normally here, but um, I got to clean the kitchen. I just don't know where this would go. Maybe I'll turn him towards the kitchen. Maybe I'll put him back here. Turn him towards the kitchen. Okay. All right. Then I bought this. And... I have a scripture on here. Maybe will you fit? Oh, it does fit. I have a scripture on there. Okay. I'll bring y'all back in closer. Anybody have any ideas? My candle is still burning. I meditated and I prayed this morning. And um, this candle is still burning. I don't leave the candle over here. I have different candles that I burn for different things I'm doing or different moods plus my incense. So the candle does not always stay here. So this may have to go because it's facing the kitchen, but you can't see it. And I don't want to, like, I don't want to make it so jum jumbled up that it just looks like too much. But I, I think this is going to have to go back. What do y'all think? Because let me go the other way got to be careful with your house because people try to be trying to look all in your house and have some type of opinion or whatever about your house your place you know i'm gonna move this cardboard can y'all see let me see if y'all can see yeah that's the way it looks from the kitchen i really don't want her facing that way I don't want her facing that way. Somebody give me some insight. Yes, I need to wash dishes. I don't need you to tell me that. Somebody give me some insight. I don't want that black statue facing that way. I may take it back. I may take it back. Because, see, the reason why I wanted this open is because I was going to put it somewhere and set crystals inside of it. Um, by it being closed 
and it's big. I just feel like it takes up a lot of space because you have to be able to see my elephant. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not really a majorly decorative decorative person, which is why I'm doing this video because somebody that's really decorative may have some insight. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. I'm not even going to edit it and wait because I need to know, should I take this back? And I think that I need to. And if you um, are a collector, what would you add? I am going to add more crystals, which is why I wanted that clear dish. Um, it's kind of good because I can put crystals like around here too, around the bottom. And I have some more crystals in my room that I want to bring out. But I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like I'm kind of maxed out if I'm trying to keep this space small. And I don't know if y'all can see, but my husband's father recently passed away. He's up here and there's a dream catcher. There's a dream catcher right here. So that's for that. So let me show y'all something else that my family just won't, my family just won't let me be. So here's my other station before anybody asks. This is my other station. Here's my Bible. I normally flip it weekly or depends on how I'm feeling to a specific verse. Here's my rosemary. I had it hanging down, but it keeps getting caught every time someone opens this drawer. So I'm not letting it hang all the way down. So here's my station for that. I have this angel, this angel, and then this item that I picked up from the mall and then my Bible. And I wanted to move my grandparents that have passed over here. I don't want that to stay in the middle. My grandparents over here. Okay, gonna move them there. So this is that station. You know what I'm saying? Right now, Prayer of a Martyr is what's open on this. I know y'all probably can't see, but Prayer of a Martyr is what's open on that. And it needs to be dusted off. Just excuse that. I do work two jobs and try to do YouTube. So I'll get my dusting off done. Um, but as far as this, you guys, T, where you at, girl? Give me some insight. I know you normally do like regular house decor, but I need some help. Is this station complete? Is it done? Do I not need to add anything else? And does this beautiful little thing here need to go back? Holla at me.